Hi there guys and welcome back to the third and final part of the tutorial. Before we begin with the finalization I just want to change a few things on Venonat that I'm not quite happy with. We're going to start out by blurring the edges of the eyes a little. So I'm going to select the fuzzy select tool. Make sure you're on the eyes layer then select in the gray then press Control i to invert the selection, to select the eyes. Go to Select, Shrink, and we're going to shrink it by 20. Then we're going to invert the selection again, so that we're selecting just the outside rim. And we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we are going to blur it by 25 then we're going to create a new layer because I forgot to draw the fur over the nose and the eye so we'll just create a layer way at the top we're going to select the airbrush tool change the brush to bristles 1 change the size to 100 Select a purple color by pressing Ctrl and clicking. We'll start up first with a dark color and draw the fur over part of the eye. And part of the nose. Then select a slightly lighter purple and do the same. Then I'm going to adjust the levels on the nose so that it's a bit darker. So we're going to select the nose layer going to colors levels and then drag the middle slider to the edge until the edge of the bottom of the nose is no longer visible I also noticed that Venonat's nose is actually a pink color so we're going to change the U of the nose by going to color U and saturation and then dragging the U slightly towards the negative. The tusks are also a bit bright at the moment so we're going to adjust the levels on that. Select the layer that's got the tusks. Go to color, levels and then adjust the white slider slightly lower. Then we're going to change the color of the eyes to also be a pinkish color. So I'm going to select the eyes, color, and hue and saturation, and move the slider to make the eyes slightly more pink. Next, we're going to merge down all of the Venonat layers so that it, so the Venonat is on a single layer. Now we're going to scale the Pokeball and move it a bit. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool, drag a box around the Pokeball, press Ctrl X to cut and Ctrl V to paste. Move it a bit to the side and then shrink it down with the scale tool. Make sure your the link is connected so that it maintains the aspect ratio. And then we're going to scale it down to a width of 1250.
Next we're going to give the background layer a bit of a gradient. So select the background layer. We're going to select a very light beige color as well as a slightly darker beige color. Then select the blend tool. Make sure your shape is on linear and then drag from the top to the bottom. If you hold down control it makes a straight line. Then we're going to add a new layer just above the background layer. I'm going to drag a box more or less in the half of the image. And we are going to fill that with a brownish color. Now we're going to select a slightly darker color of the same brown. Then select the paintbrush tool, change it to bristles one, then change the size to 500. And we are going to click on the edge. If you hold down shift and control, you can draw your You'll draw in a straight line and just draw random lines like that. Then we're going to select a slightly lighter color than our base color and we're going to repeat that. Now we're going to go to filter, blur, motion blur and we are going to change the angle to 360 and the length to 160 and press OK. That might take a while to render. Select the floor by dragging a box around it, press Ctrl X to cut, Ctrl V to paste and we are going to change the perspective by clicking on the perspective tool, select the floor and then drag out the bottom to give it slightly more perspective. and anchor the layer. Next we're going to add a few shadows to Venonat and the Pokeball. So first we're going to select Venonat's layer, then we are going to right click on it and say duplicate layer. Then you're going to go to color, colorize drop the saturation all the way down and the lightness as well so it's a silhouette and press OK move the layer below Venonat select your movement tool click on it and then with the keyboard or with your mouse move the shadow layer slightly down and to the right now we don't want the shadows to be above the feet so I'm just going to select everything above the feet and then press delete then we're going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur leave it on 25 and press OK and then drop down the opacity to 60 now we're going to create a new layer above the shadow layer Select the airbrush tool, change the size to 800 and then just below and to the right of Venonet we are just going to slightly darken the shadow. Okay. 
as well as underneath the Pokeball. My layer is above the Pokeball, so I'll just move it to below the Pokeball. And then change the opacity so that you can still see the wood grain. The wood grain is a bit too contrasting with the image, so I'm going to adjust the colors by going to color levels and I'm going to move the middle slider up a bit to, rem to remove some of the contrasting colors and we can adjust the shadows a bit darker as well as adjust the opacity of Venonat's initial shadow layer a bit lower as well And then finally, for a bit of a reflection, we are going to duplicate the Pokeball layer by right-clicking on it and selecting Duplicate Layer. Then we are going to go to Layer, Transform, Flip Vertical. I'm going to move it down to the bottom of our Pokeball. We're going to, on that layer, just right click and say add a layer mask, leave it on white full opacity and click add. Select the blend tool, make sure your secondary color is black and your primary is white. Drag the line about halfway into the bottom Pokeball layer. Make sure your the layer is below the full opaque Pokeball and adjust the opacity down so that it is barely visible. Now we're going to do the same for Venonat except we're not going to flip the layer vertically. So we're going to duplicate the layer. We're going to move it slightly down, make sure it's behind our initial Venonat layer and drag a box around so that just the reflection would be sticking out at the bottom and press delete and then just change down the opacity to be also just barely visible. Right click on the layer and say layer to image size. And there we have our realistic-ish Venonat and a Pokeball. I hope you've learned something from this. If you like this tutorial, please click on the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.